I didn't mean it like that. I said that in the in the the talk last night. <laughs> I was talking about about the design of a, a thermostat controls in a hotel room where it was digital and the light never dimmed. So even with these blackout oh. curtains, it just lit up the room. And I said, and no one thought, what do people do in these hotel rooms when the curtains are closed? And I was like, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> mixed feelings about enterprise projects I, I am not mixed feelings i just don't like them unless all right here's my mixed feeling is if i can find a small team within them exactly exactly right yeah, so yeah. the money's there but the bullshit is not yeah that's the sweet spot yeah and that's like i haven't done work for nike but mm -hmm. what i hear about them is people either have a really great experience or a really terrible experience and it mm -hmm. comes down to whose team you're on. I think that's a lot of businesses. I mean, right. that's who's the manager, who's the director, what's the culture. Yeah. And that, and that's attitude? why, you know, and I'm not digging on Rosenfeld for doing the enterprise UX conference and, and that kind of thing. But my experience with enterprise UX is vast. Thank you very much. Probably half of my career has been enterprise level UX stuff. But the reality is those companies are so big that you're really working in a small company within a larger company. You know, you end up working with a team that's tasked with an application area or a service area or something. And, and that's all you're working on. And there's a broader, bigger ecosystem within that company that you're not having any influence on. So and I, I would agree. say most people sit in that space. So yes, you're usually working in, a, in one team in a little bit of isolation, but I think to do proper enterprise UX, you have to look outside your silo and that's where people fall down because they do just assume, oh, we're just in our own little bubble here. And they don't realize other impacts from other business units, other, mm -hmm. you know, sister or brother applications within the, the ecosystem. Right. And that's where the e the enterprise part is different from the non enterprise is because there is a bigger world out there that mm. people aren't aren't leveraging aren't considering yes. working with them. Yeah, yeah, okay. I I follow you with that. I agree with you. <laughs> and here's where I disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not really disagreeing. But like more of like a refinement on what I was saying before. Where to me it comes down to to a couple things. One, obviously, the individual. Do they quote unquote stay in their lane? do what they're assigned kind of thing. And then the other is the organization. And it goes back to whatever you want to call the, the level of design maturity or UX maturity or whatever of an enterprise that gets that all of this stuff is connected and that mm -hmm. it has the expectation of its employees and, and even the people that it brings in to do work from the outside that you aren't working in isolation right? You're part of a, of a bigger picture and you, you, we expect you to understand that. I think we agree. Oh, okay. <laughs> My, why I was saying that, that I'm, you know, on why I was deriding it a little bit was because I don't see it playing out like that. Most companies are not mature with their design yep. prowess or, or whatever word I that's agree. failing to come to mind. And most people, when they have a job, they don't look more broadly. And that's why enterprise UX as a thing is poorly implemented and executed for that, that very reason. But I do think it's a thing. And I think it's different than just doing small business, like awareness, like, you know, something like that, where it's just. Yeah. All right. Get your own little thing. That's all. That's how I see it. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. All right. I'm wrong. You're right. No, no. We have our own opinions. I've done a lot of enterprise too. I've seen it very colossally fail <laughs> yeah. not colossally fail but i've seen it it's very difficult which is partly why i don't like doing it <laughs> not because it's difficult because it's frustrating to me right for the organizations that either are doing it well or or think they're doing it well what it might be like to do a project with them i actually think the even though it had its own challenges the the hp project was okay they seemed open to it i know it was sort of siloed but well we were breaking silos but we were yeah breaking silos. that's right 
<laughs> I know what you mean. That we we were con we were doing research across silos across the organization. Um, we didn't have to implement. I think that would have presented a whole host of other that's true challenges. We were very much on the the very high level <laughs> of impact. But right, we did we did have traction and we did have influence over multiple business mm -hmm. units, which is good. Yeah, and and they wanted that. Mm -hmm. So, that was in the mandate, yeah. yeah. We did Enterprise oh, right. UX. Right. We did certification. So we got two out of it. So that's two weeks. So there season's done. Done. <laughs> What's right. this one? Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah. See you next season. All right. Good show, people. Good show. <laughs>